Ken's Bronco is freaking amazing in the snow. Yeah? Yeah. Like, so our, the title was clickbait? Well, yeah, I guess I guess it doesn't suck so bad. <laughs> this is the most like snow this. I think we've gotten in five years. Yeah, I think so too. This is crazy. Look at this. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm so happy. Come on, Mike. It's a snow day. Let's go, Steve. Oh, Steve! Oh! It's a snow day, bro. Let's go. Bro, let me f finish first. Come on! <laughs> I think it's a different kind of snow day for Mike. Ken, you can't say this. Dude, up. I barely made it to uh, the shop today and I was riding a snowmobile. <laughs> I would have been so screwed in the Subaru. Hey, you should drive a truck, yeah! Ken, you don't even drive a truck. I drive a Bronco, it's the same thing. That is not even close to the same thing. It's got four-wheel drive. No, that does not qualify you it's as got, a truck. It's got axle lockers. Ken, oh my god, are you hearing this? Ken thinks his Bronco's a truck. Okay, Ken, let's not get carried away. I told you it was good this morning, but it's not. G-Wagon's trucks. People that drive G-Wagons clearly don't know what a truck is. Ken. Trucks have many different things. No. One time, I referred to a pickup as a truck, and she was like, that's not a truck, that's a pickup. Trucks haul beats. So us calling this a truck is a stretch. But, but, but it is a great vehicle. Maybe I'll go grab some beats then at home around. It's a little car. <laughs> it's a bitty little Fire car. Standard. It's a mid-size SUV. Yeah. It can do more than a normal mid-size SUV. You, you fit in a compact parking space. His Ranger, that's a, that's a truck. Now this guy drives a truck. That thing hauls pickups. Holy crap, is it coming down out here, guys? All right, Blizzard Street Racing. <laughs> no one's on the road, so it's legal. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, oh, that's the oh. ditch! That's the ditch, Ken! Bronco's actually gonna tow this? I'm a little bit worried it's not. Ken, you got a stove up to here, bud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how the turns have tabled. Ken, give it a good yank. You might get a little whiplash. Yeah. Easy. Oh, Ken. Oh, Ken. Knew we could do it. Good job, Ken. Good job, we, Ryan. If we didn't do it, I don't know what we would have done. It's not every day that you can ski behind a TRX down the middle of a road. I just can't see, <laughs> but like that was incredible. Yeah, that's sick. I've always wanted to do that. It's a Casey Neistat stuff. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright, so we're just pulling into the dealership. What's up, buddy? We're picking up a new truck today, which I feel like a lot of you guys. I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be pretty excited about actually. Because I know not everyone likes Ford. So we're getting a Honda! A Ridgeline. <laughs> this is what you guys ordered, right? No, we were trying to we were trying to get a Ridgeline. You got a Sentra? You put it in the back, you guys can just yeah, we'll put it in the back. I'll catch you in a minute here. All right. I don't know where, where to park this thing. To park yeah. this thing, dude. All right, there she is right there. Nice, dude, maroon. <laughs> All right. So, as most of you probably know, uh, we, we just keep getting pulled over in this truck because supposedly it's highly illegal. I don't know. The state troopers in our area really don't like it. On top of that, it's just so pretty underneath here. With all of our salted roads, we don't really want to make it all rusty. So, we actually didn't get a Ridgeline. We ended up pulling the trigger on this 2020 Ram Ooh. Cummins. Mega cab. Mega cab. Mike yeah. is very happy. But it's yeah. a nice ass truck. I'm not going to lie. Super nice. Though. This is our first time seeing yeah. it. I should honestly be filming you, Ryan, because you've got to be way more happy about this than me. Yeah, dude, this thing was not going <laughs> to make it out west for a tow rig at all. Ryan was trying to trade it in, but we, we couldn't let go of this guy. Dude, I yeah. must have some pull around here with really all do. these rams. You really do. Coming honestly, in, huh? I wasn't a ram guy until I rode in your TRX. I was like, all right, this thing's pretty fucking sick. Yeah, so we, we found a midnight edition Ram 2500 with the Mega Cab. The mega Cabs are way nicer to ride in, though. Ken's going to be doing a lot of in the back here. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why we ended up getting the mid How's it going? Everybody's in Mopar. I've seen it on uh, on my cell phone so goddamn many times that I just drove by here. Like, oh shit! If you want to take yeah. it for a spin, the keys oh, are God, right. <laughs> That is a truck. Holy crap! Yeah, this is try the truck. I just got a text Trump alert. All right, just finished up on all the paperwork. Let's see what the inside of this thing looks yeah, like. I'm excited. We bought the truck without looking at the interior. Ooh, this is nice. You can uh, recline the back seat. Oh, yeah. This oh, is wow. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. Whoa. Jeez. I didn't know that was possible. Now, the back seat we're going to be fighting over. You still going to drive that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, this is cool and all, and, but I just I like the other truck better. Okay. Up on to you. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I tested it out. It's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I, I didn't drink. get you guys a big bottle because I knew you'd get too drunk. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> if you're going to drive a Ram, you better have a bottle of Jack Daniels <laughs> in the back. <laughs> there was like, I can't even see this truck. Yeah, yeah. It's funny how small that truck looks next to this. I know. Literally, like, how do you make a full-size diesel truck look like a toy? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's go. All right. Buddy. Check it out, I got a snowmobile. So we've taken the delivery of snowmobile number two for our fleet, the new cross country 600 race sled. Super light, probably like the best ditch banging machine that I've had so far. It's the best looking <laughs> snowmobile we own. Like this thing yeah. is badass. You can't not look at it when it's in the garage. Right. Like, I still don't have a snowmobile, so I've just been mobbing CJ. Been really easy on it too. Please don't break it. I don't plan on it, but maybe. <laughs> yeah, pretty soft. Jesus <laughs> Christ! You got more air on the triple than that, dude. Yeah, maybe I just gotta stick to the triple. I think you got at least two feet off the ground on that one. I don't even think I got that high. <laughs> this getting snow thing is kind of cool. I don't remember the last time we had this much snow. Snowmobiling capital of the world.
<laughs> it looked like it caught the side panel. Oh yeah, you broke that down there. Well, that was quick. <laughs> that's it for today you guys <laughs> ryan micah and ben just hit the road to wyoming to film some mountain snowmobiling videos uh as far as the ram truck goes we will be building that it won't be anything as crazy as the ford but it's still gonna be cool so stay tuned for that if you guys haven't yet hit the subscribe button and we will see you next time ain't that right big ken Almost just got hit by this guy. Hey, oh, what up? I can't believe you're working today. Oh, dude, it's just brutal.